In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Don't 
Give him the satisfaction of slipping away! Find him again! Ready to open fire! Don't make this difficult for yourselves. Scatter! Grenade! Retreat!
That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I expect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Colonel strikes me as an honorable man, someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point with everything that has happened, with what I've done. I can't change the past, but maybe there is a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans, let them know I'm fine. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there.
you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> a part of the same gang who made trouble for the Finnegans. Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Carmack. Uh, but what are you doing here? Don't mind me asking. The Colonel sent me. Show Shay. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <coughs> shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post-haste. Ugh. 
Let him think he's losing us. We'll surprise him soon enough. Keep running! No! She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Welcome aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid!
The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shane. But I admire the Colonel's ideas and want to make them happen. What kind of ideas? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, we'll see. Full sail ahead, lads! Slowly because she loves me, Drop that's anchor. all I want. service can I provide? Another time. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored oh, by enemies of the They intend to undermine local forces. Yeah, I've heard Two they steal them. Resell a section ten times as much. How is the little fella? The yes. costs, Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. There's something in the water, or in the whiskey. And why do you say that, Mr. Cormac? I can say you're skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow workers. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. 
Le est en train de dégueuler sa vie. Je colle sa patrouille. C'est ta patrouille, on en reparlera demain. Le fait, Marcelin est en train de dégueuler sa vie. Je colle sa patrouille. Réveille-le s'il dort encore. Mais il croit pouvoir nous échapper. Ah non, pas encore. Une fois, rapidement. Bref. Ah Je te colle sa patrouille. Ah Vous avez entendu ça Je crois que ça vient de là-bas.
Good show, Shay. Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan! Hooray! Captain Cormac has the Your win! ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy, but we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in like a wounded bear. There's our target, Shay! Knock her down like a game of nine pins! Begin by hitting her towers. As the Colonel said! They have reinforcements, sir! Cannon ready! Fire!
Loose and trim too. Loose All sail. She'll take it. Short and sail. Get off the squall. Superb. Now find the fort commander. Enter away. Chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. I saw a dumb toad again. Let's catch him. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. Resistance is not in your best interest. Desist! <laughs> Lost sight of 
sight of him. We have to find him again. <laughs> so close this time. Constant disappointment. I've seen street urgents fight with more skill. <laughs> Don't make me do this, Lucasar! Who would assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. Poor Gabby! To think you can mess with me! <laughs> business Shay. as were you tell me what are you doing in land special weapons poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities I am merely a delivery man then may your final delivery be swift Chassar was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. Colonel thanks and congratulates you, Shay. He has returned to New York. But you look troubled. Do... Do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, Gist? If you chose the right path? Uh, I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. And what's to question? 
The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time we root them out. Of course. You're right, Kist. Let's head back to New York. Aye, Captain. Come down, you blood red roses. Come down. We're bound away around Cape Horn. Come down. We wish to hell you ain't never been born. Come down. Oh, ye pinks and posies. Come down, you blood red roses. Come down. We and clothes are all in a hole. And it's bleeding draft here round Cape Horn. Oh, ye pinks and posies. Come down, ye blood red roses. Careful, Captain! This is more like it. Tell you things have been tense since the 